you want your strumming and your rhythm playing to sound good, this is definitely the best approach to take. When you actually really listen into most acoustic guitar parts, you will hear something like this going on 99% of the time. I'm going to show you the six notes that we play in E minor laid out as they are on the piano. So our six notes are E, B, fourth string E, third string is a G, second string is a B, and our first string is an E. So you can see it's taken two hands for me to play this chord on the piano. So no piano player is going to play a rhythm like this. You're going to split the chord up. So we're going to look at low, high. So we're going to be playing one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... So how this looks on the guitar is like this. It's not an exact science, but we're just going to strum the lower part of the chord down up and then the higher part. So it's one and two and three and four and... I have a lesson on here for Candy by Paolo Nottini, and that is pretty much the rhythm he plays for most of the song. I'll play you a couple of bars here, it goes like this. and so on. So check that video out. It's a great technique. There are many different ways to do this. You could strum the low notes on the first beat and then strum the high notes for the rest of the bar. You could do one, two, and three, four, and... The permutations of this are endless, so try putting it into your guitar playing and listen out for it when you're listening to songs, how guitar players often use this low, high thing. Think like a piano player, essentially.